I don't know how many of you had a chance to look in the book the other day. If you finish early, I said that you could look at the Mayan counting system. I, I want to go over that in some detail now, since you have an, an understanding, an idea of... And it's really a cool system. Okay, first of all, let's, let's relate to our system. In our counting system, you know, we have the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. So if we were going to write, say for example, 2009, which is the year, two would be in the thousands, zero, zero, 2009, just like that, okay? That's our system, and we have columns. Well, the Maya, they had something different. They had rows, and our system is based on the number 10. Their system was based on the number 20. So it's going to look entirely different. So they had 20s, 1s, and 5s. 20s and 1s were represented by dots, and 5s were represented by a bar. Okay? So for example, if you were going to write um, 26, you'd have a dot in the 20s, a dot in the 1s, and you'd have a bar for the 5s. 20, 25, 26. <coughs> kind of complicated, isn't it? Yeah. How do you know but which is which? But it's, well, now that's, that's the thing. How do you know which is which? To know which is which, you have to take a look at the number together, all together. So let's take a look at all their numbers. First of all, they have, they have a zero. Remember when we talked about the Roman numeral system? And the Roman numerals, they didn't have any zeros. If you, if you had x minus x, it would be 10 minus 10. What would be the answer in Roman numerals? They didn't have one, because all they used it for was counting. They didn't use it for adding and subtracting and doing math figures, math work. And we talked about how that was something that the Arabs had. Was they introduced to us the concept of zero. Well, the Maya were actually ahead of the Romans in this sense. They had a zero. And what that is up there, it's a shell. Okay. So now, you've got one dot is one, two dots, two, three dots, three, four dots, four. And then when you get to five, you don't add a fifth dot, you add a bar. And that's kind of like the Roman numerals too. Remember you had Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, two, two I's, three I's. And then you get into four and you have I, V, and then five is B. Okay. So it's, it's similar to that. Or something like that. So now we've got 6 is the bar for 5 and a 1. It's a combination of 1 and a, and a 5. Six. 7 is a bar for 5 and 2. 8, 9. And then when you get to 10, it's not a bar and 5 dots. It's 2 bars. 11, 12, 13, 14. When you get to 15, again, it's add another bar. So you got three bars. When you get to 16, you know, you add another dot all the way up to 19, which is three bars and four dots. Then what they come up with is 20. And again, the 20, as I, as I told you on this, on this one here, the 20 is a dot. Okay, but what's the difference between a dot for a 20 and a dot for a 1? They're both the same dots. Well, that's what, that's what they do here. Number 20 is represented by a dot in the 20 position, which is the top with a shell for a zero on the ones position. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Okay, so you got, you got the difference between a one, even though they're both dots, you got one and you got 20, they're both dots, but the, the way you tell the difference is if it's a 20, you don't have any ones, you have a zero there. Then of course 21, you would no longer have the zero in the ones position. 21. Or 22. On and on and on like that. You could even, yeah, you could even go up to 25. You could go up to 30. Because you got a 20 and two fives. 25 and 5 is 30. Yes? But you the dots go up when you get a dot one? The upper dots are dots of 20. The lower dots are dots of 1. Okay. So you could have 40. Two dots and then a shell. 
Fun. And I know my shells look more like some flying saucer from out of space than a shell. That's that's okay. That, that, that's okay. Okay. The other the other thing that you can do then is you can do you can do some simple some you can do some simple math problems. So we could have six plus six equals twelve. Looks like a guy that's serious, not a guy that's very happy, right? Yes. Yeah. So we've got this one here, we've got five and